Let us now understand how to describe end behavior of a polynomial function. Here we have four examples and we'll try to understand end behavior of polynomial functions when written in standard form. So the very first one is f of x equals to 2 times x to the power of 5 minus 3x4 plus x squared minus 1. Now end behavior depends on basically two things. First is degree and the second is leading coefficient. These are the two things which decides end behavior of a polynomial function, right? Now what is the degree of this polynomial? Degree is highest exponent which is 5, so degree is 5 and the leading coefficient is the coefficient of x to the power of 5 which is 2. Rather, I should say positive. We are more interested in the sign than the number, but in any case, it is positive, right? So degree we see 5, which is odd, right? So we have a degree which is odd. Let me write this as odd degree with positive leading coefficient. Now that decides the end behavior of polynomial function. If it is odd, then both ends are facing towards a positive end, that is one thing we remember, and if it is positive, we know right side is up. So basically, the end behavior is kind of like this, do you see that? So from here, we can write down the end behavior of the function, that is to say, if x approaches negative infinity, right, towards that side, then y approaches negative infinity, and if x approaches positive infinity, then y approaches positive infinity, right? So this is odd degree polynomial with positive leading coefficient. So for that, the end behavior will be something like this, right? Now let's look into the second example. In the second example, we have minus x to the power of 7 minus 4x cubed plus x squared plus x. Now here, what is the degree? Degree again is odd, 7, right? So here, degree we know is 7, let's write down 7, which is odd, right? And leading coefficient is negative 1, right? Which is negative. Now since the leading coefficient is negative, we know its right side will be down, not up, right? So in the coordinate plane, so when I am writing like this, let me make a coordinate plane to be very specific. So we are not showing what is there in between, but we are only talking about the end behavior at the moment. So since it is odd degree, both ends will be facing the opposite sides. Since the leading coefficient is negative, the right side will be down, right? So, so it has to be like this. And therefore, we can write down that if x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity, and if x approaches positive infinity, then y approaches negative infinity. That is the end behavior of the given function. Now let's look into the next function, which is 2 times x to the power of 4 minus 3x cubed plus x squared plus 5. Now in this particular case, what is the degree? Degree is 4, right? Degree is 4 and 4 is even number. How about the leading coefficient? Leading coefficient is 2, and 2 is positive 2, right? So positive 2 means right side up, correct? So in this particular case, what we have is a function whose right side is up, since the leading coefficient is positive. Even means both sides will face on the same side, right? So both are up, right? So both are up means if x approaches minus infinity, y will approach positive infinity. And if x approaches positive infinity, then y also approaches positive infinity. So in both the cases, it is upwards, right? So that is the end behavior of the given polynomial. Now the last one is also an even degree polynomial. Here the degree is 6, right? So 6, which is even degree, right? and leading coefficient is minus 1, which is negative. So in this particular case, the end behavior should be what? As you can see here, 
negative means right side down so right side down and even degree means both will face on the same side so that is the end behavior so we can write this as x approaches negative infinity y approaches negative infinity and as x approaches positive infinity y approaches positive sorry negative infinity so both cases it is approaching negative infinity right so that is how we can write end behavior of a given polynomial so what we need to see basically from the equation is what is the degree of the polynomial and the sign of leading coefficient if the degree is odd then both ends are facing in the opposite directions if degree is even both are facing in same directions that is one thing if the leading coefficient is positive right side is up right side is up for leading coefficient of positive if leading coefficient is negative right side is down so that helps once we know where the right side is and then both are opposite or in the same direction that will give us the end behavior right so that i hope will help you to write down end behavior of any given polynomial function in standard form thank you and all the best